Janet Ciccone. Oh, oh look at goodness. you, knocked up again. Well, like you were an angel in high school. Come on. Yeah. Wow. You look good. So do you. Nice suit. What, you graduate from shoplifting to robbing uh, banks? No, 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 my bad boy days are long gone. Huh? I've been legit for years. Legit as what? I'm a trader, commodities. Hey, hey, no joke. Here you go. My name is in the journal at least once a week. Wow. Well, what are you doing in Oakdale? Business. Got a deal going with Lucinda Walsh. Have you heard of her? Who's your friend? Oh, hey, this is Tony Nero. We grew up together. Hey, do people still call you Blackie? Ah, they don't call me Tony either. I go by Blackthorn now. Anthony Blackthorn. I didn't catch your name. Dusty Donovan. You're with Worldwide. Yeah, that's right. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, gotta go. Got a meeting. Listen, you got my car. Next time I'm in town, you'll call. We'll have dinner. Take care of the Bambino. Well, it's nice to see that he is doing so well. You grew up with him? I did. OK. Nero in Italian means black. So everybody called him Blackie, and boy, was he a punk, let me tell you. But now, apparently, he is a legitimate businessman. He's doing some business with Lucinda. Who said that? He did? What's wrong? If he said he's doing business with Lucinda, he's lying. Sage is at camp, or is it a friend's? No, 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 Jack. We can't. What just happened? I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to push you away like that. I did, did I misunderstand something? I thought we were having a banner day today, despite what happened in Metro. Yeah, we, we, we did. We are. Yeah, we're, we're on a good track there, right? Yeah. And I don't want to blow it. How are we, how are we blowing it? We were just getting closer, Jack, no? not too long ago, we stood in this room and we were fighting. We said terrible things to each other. We can't ignore that that happened. I'm not saying we should. We have to take it slow. We can't just jump into bed together too soon. Well, define too soon. I'm scared. Very recently, you disapproved of me so much you wouldn't even speak to me. Now we're tearing oh, each other's please. clothes hey, off. I did not disapprove. Oh, yes, you did. And I will not go back there. I, I cannot change who I am, and I will not be rejected by you again. A call came in the office from Blackie the other day. Lucinda didn't take the call. Why not? She said she wasn't interested. Well, there's got to be a reason. Yeah, he's got a bad reputation. So what? So, Blackthorn says he's doing business with Lucinda. Maybe she is. She changed her mind and she just didn't tell you about it. Well, I better check it out. Make sure this guy's on the level. Oh, come on. Lucinda is smart enough to do that on her own. Well, I have the resources. So she, doesn't... she doesn't need your protection, Dusty. Blackthorn's probably trying to run a scam on Oh, life. please. He's not running a scam. Why can't you just give the guy the benefit of the doubt? Guys like that never get clean. Guys like what? Guys like Blackie, the punk. It's written all over his face, Janet. Yeah, and he's also Italian, which means he must be in the oh, mob, come right? On. Who said that? That's what you were thinking? No, who cares if he's Italian? I'm saying my gut says he's hiding something. What if your gut is wrong? Well, it's usually not. Well, it is. Tony Nero is my friend. He's not your friend. He was your neighbor 20 years ago. Why are you so suspicious? You're so naive. I am not. You're wrong about Ralph, and I guarantee you're wrong about your friend Blackie. That was a low blow. This is nothing like what happened with Uncle Ralph. Why are you so sure? You haven't seen Blackie since high school, and he just lied about doing business with my partner. You don't know it's a lie. You think it's a lie. Well, there's only one way to find out. Talk to Lucinda. Check this guy out. You're acting just like you did with my dad. You see danger everywhere. It's exhausting. I'm sorry to feel that way, Jen. I'm trying to protect Don't you. say it. I'm just going to make a few calls, that's all. Fine, make a few calls. Knock yourself out. Where are you going? Home. What about our dinner? I've lost my appetite.
Carly, I'm scared too. But at some point, don't we have to take a leap of faith? That's what I asked you to do not too long ago. And you weren't ready. Uh, now I am. And now I'm not. Okay, what is it going to take for you to be ready? What has to happen for you to feel uh, it's safer? I don't know. Do you, do you want me to stop work on the, on the cabin and, and find another place for Janet and Liberty? No, to live? no, because that's that. not going to solve anything, Jack. If I say yes, you'll just resent me. And Janet and the baby are going to be a part of our lives no matter where they live. <sighs> okay, I thought you'd made peace with all I, well, I thought so, too. Now I'm not so sure. with each other it's that sounds helpful but not tonight are you asking me to leave i'm saying that we both have a lot to think about good night Jay.